February is going to be Sloper Month. The second project that scares me on my list of 12 managed to tick off the Ziggy Jacket, although it wasn't a total win. If you would like to see more about that, there's a video up here. But yes, this month, Mum and I are going to be tackling our slopers. Bodice blocks, body blueprints, whatever you want to call them. There are many, 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 many resources out there for helping you draft your own one of these. We've gone down the Craftsy class route because we bought them years ago. I even took the measurements and drafted the sloper or no moulage sorry I just never cut it out and sewed it up to see what it would come out like my measurements have changed completely since then so I'm going to be starting from scratch and we're going to be starting with the skirt sloper which is the order that Susie Furrer who is the teacher that we're using recommends so skirt bodice, sleeve, and then trousers. I'm really hoping we can get all four of these done this month. I'm thinking that we probably can. There are lots of like minor tweaks that need to be made to the moulage once you've made it, and then you add wearing ease to the moulage to make it into a basic tight-fitting sloper. So there's a whole process. I'm really looking forward to trying it. As I say, I bought these classes years ago, like six, seven years ago at least. So I've had them for a while, and I think it's going to be an interesting experience. I think it's going to be really fun. I'm hoping that it's it's going to become something that's really useful for me as well because I have so many plans of things that I would like to make and there aren't patterns out there that are exactly right so there's lots of tweaks and smooshing that I would need to do to get something that I have in my head into dress or garment form but if I'm starting from scratch from my own sloper the theoretically it's just going to be tweaking tweaking style lines rather than trying to get the thing to fit me so I am very very excited about this project and I think mum is too. Mum really wants to start with the trouser one because she wants to make trousers but apparently that's the most difficult one so I've told her no. We are working through it in the way that the club, way that the teacher has told us that we are going to. So skirt, bodice, sleeve, trousers. Hopefully that won't take the entire month of February hopefully because I still have my hemispheric coat to do I've got my Carolyn pajamas to do and the 9076 which has been cut out and waiting to be sewn up and half of it is the skirts over there doing its biasy thing the skirts had plenty of time to drop but yeah I cut that out at the end of November so I'd like to get those three things done as well in addition to that I have a pile of fabric in front of me because of course I do this is me we're talking about so first up I have this burgundy kind of clarity red ponty or slightly lighter weight ponty fabric that I got from Lady McElroy or Sherwood's from their half price remnant sale just after Christmas. I bought three meters of this and I want to make myself another pair of jogging bottoms. Now, Mum has been eyeing it up and really really wants it. I almost gave it to her and apparently she almost cut into it the other day but she thought I thought I'd just double check with you and I really want a new pair of jogging bottoms that aren't looking as scruffy as the three that I have at the moment because I do wear them fairly frequently. So a pair of jogging bottoms. Theoretically this should be a very quick project because I've already perfected the pattern so I just need to cut it out and get it sewn up and I can do that in about an hour and a half. So this one should get made. Next up I put the Burda Dirndl and the Charm Rita blouse up for a vote on Patreon for my Patreon peeps to pick which one that I should do this month and they were very kind to me and they've gone for the Rita blouse which thank you very much to everybody that voted for this one. A couple of you pointed out that I should probably be doing the dirndl around sort of like September through to October so that I could wear it for an Oktoberfest style event or at least video and uh, I love that idea. So I will be making the Gertie or Charm Patterns by Gertie Rita blouse this month. I want to make both versions because I am a patron of Gertie so I have the bishop sleeve extension as well. I'm planning on doing the bishop sleeve extension from this very beautiful floral viscose that the very lovely Anna gave me for birthday Christmas birthday Christmas birthday Christmas present because she gave me three years all in one go the last time I saw her at the retreat last year. So thank you very much to Anna for this one. I think that the light floaty nature of this fabric will work really well with the sleeves and look really Really, really beautiful and it's going to go really well <laughs> with the jogging bottoms and then also the suiting red suiting I've got back there as well so yeah this will be a very versatile piece in my wardrobe and I think I'm going to get away with the black 
background because the bright reds are one of my colours and also it's a kind of like lower scoop neck so I'm very much looking forward to getting this one made up and then I've always planned to make two Rita blouses the short sleeve one is going to be from this Liberty Carline Poplin I, th mm, I think it's Poplin it could be Mm, it might be poplin it, it's yeah it's a little stiffer than lawn i have a lot of this so i was debating with the peeps do i make a dress because gertie has done a dress extension for the rita blouse which i love or do i make the little top and then a separate skirt so that when they're worn together they look like a dress but then the top will be more versatile especially given that I'm making red trousers and skirts from the suiting and things like that and I think the peeps have talked me into doing separates so the top will definitely get made from this one and whatever I've got left I will turn into some form of skirt to go with it I kind of like the idea of a tiered and gathered skirt by itself although I have said frequently that I don't really like wearing pattern skirts with a plain top. I think it makes sense to make the separates. Yeah, I have this one as well. So these two are going to be Rita blouses from Charm Patterns by Gertie and I'm very excited to get this one done. Lots of you guys have been telling me it's another really good less than a meter top which is great because I know you guys are getting sick of seeing me make all the Annas out of my less than a meter tops and I have quite a large stash of that sort of length of fabric up here so a few variations of tops that are going to work for my style and for the small amounts of fabric I have for some of the prints that I've got in in, in the stash up here I think that's going to be brilliant. I have this mystery stretch something or other is polyester I got it from the textile center and I actually think Rachel had featured it in one of her fabric hauls and I saw it and I was just like oh that's pretty and then promptly went and bought five meters of it now as I mentioned earlier I'm going to be making my slopers this month and one of the things that's on my list of projects that scare me is a pencil skirted dress very much like Bianca's kind of color blocked ones now this ne won't necessarily be a color blocked dress because the print is giant but it kind of goes across at an angle I'd have to get the entire thing out to show you so let's just kind of have a look at it like 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 this but it's got uh, lots of repeats of this giant print on it and I'm thinking that this would work really well as a kind of test garment for the pencil dress that I want to make because it has a decent amount of stretch in it so this is going to be wearable muslin fodder for the garment that I make up from the combination of my skirt sloper and my bodice sloper because I would like to try and make samples of everything. Now I'm not even ruling out because usually I don't like tight fitting sleeves on woven garments but this fabric does have like a decent amount of stretch in it and theoretically if I'm making something from my slopers, which are my body blueprint, I should be able to make something that has a range of movement in it and I can always put in an underarm gusset as well. Possibly this could be the fabric that I use for my test piece from the skirt, the bodice and the sleeve sloper. I got this one out because it's a fabric I'm not precious about. I don't mind if it doesn't go perfectly. I have a lot of it, so I might be able to get two garments out of that as well. So I think this could be interesting and an interesting experiment to see whether I actually feel comfortable in a pencil skirted dress when it fits me perfectly. Because the reason I shy away from them at the moment is trying to fit my hips, bum and waist without ending up with pointy pointy butt darts because that's been the problem I've always had. So yeah, I think this is going to be an interesting experiment and I'm really glad that I have this fabric in my stash to experiment with. Okay, I have one more fabric to show you and I appreciate that I am doing all of the things in the shortest month of the year and taking on a really difficult project in the shortest month of the year as well, but I saw this, there's a short that's gone out for this, I saw this fabric on Lauren from Guthrie and Garni, I saw it on her What's New In video and was just like, I need that, <laughs> Bobby Duke, I won't buy it. <laughs> So if you don't follow Bobby Duke you really should, I'll list his channel down below, so funny. Yeah I saw this and was just like, sold, 
I paused the video, went to look at it, £12.60 a metre. Le Masi have it as well, but they've got it at £15 per metre. I am in love. It's a viscose, I've got five metres of it, and I'm going to be making my McCall's 7537 dress. This time I'm not going to put the ruffle around the bodice, I'm just going to go for the fitted bodice with the crossover ties at the front and the tiered and gathered skirt that I personally prefer because that's why I bought five metres of this so I had enough to do the full flouncy skirt. I am really looking forward to having a bright dress to wear in the cooler months because I'm pulling, I'm intending to put full length bishop sleeves on this one like my other ones. I think that I'll get away with wearing that into the warmer months except for really really hot summers although we don't really get very many days of hot summer in the UK but yeah I'm really looking forward to having a bright long sleeve dress that I can wear in the cooler months. I love all the dresses that I've made but a lot of them are quite muted in colour. I just, I just think this is absolutely glorious and I love all the shades of blue in it as well so it can definitely be worn with my navy accessories as well as my kind of burgundy and black accessories also tan as well so yeah really really over moon with this my first fabric purchase of 2023 i said 2020 i said 20 20 20 or 2020 i can't speak i said 2003 in the short i haven't bought fabric since 2003 it's like that's a fib <laughs> 27 days without buying fabric and then i mean yeah and it works in so perfectly with this year's theme of like red and beautifulness so absolutely over the moon about that one i definitely want to get that one made up asap so <laughs> what do you think of my again superly ambitious plans for the month which one are you excited about seeing most i know i haven't included a wearable muslin fabric for the trousers it's probably going to end up being the kind of like royal blue purpley crepe that you can see in here because I've had that for ages and I love it but I'm not super precious about it. So that's going to be my trouser wearable muslin fodder I think. Obviously after making um, the, the, the calico muslins and things like that. So yeah that's that's going to be the trouser one but other than that what do you guys think of my selection of fabrics for February? Am I biting off way more than I can chew as always? or do you think I'm going to be able to do it? Which one are you excited about seeing most? I would love to know what you think in the comments down below. If you've enjoyed this fabric haul you might want to check out this video here. 